हेलो एवरीवन सो बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विद ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव ओनली हाइपर प्लेन्स आई विल बी टेलिंग यू दैट सो टू डेट सेल्फ सो इन बाय सिक्स ऑफ फेब बाय सिक्स ऑफ फेब द होल ऑफ चैप्टर ट्वेल्व वुड बी कंप्लीटेड एंड आई विल ट्राई टू कवर दिस होल कोर्स बाय फर्स्ट और सेकेंड वीक ऑफ मार्च and apart from this i'll solve past years as well once the paper are near so i'll solve the past year for mme stats and for macro okay now moving to the topic hyperplanes so suppose let p be a plane in r3 so r3 basically it is three dimension and x1 x2 x3 so suppose p is a plane which is passing through the vector a and this p small p so this vector small p is its normal okay so think from the perspective of a ground and a normal so if people are standing on it it is like a normal because they will so abhi jo tum tum kisi ground pe khade ho ya baithe ho jo farsh dikh raha hai us pe khade hoge to wo tum ek normal ho like kyunki you are making a 90 degree angle with the farsh with the floor okay so suppose p is a vector which is normal to the plane p and the plane itself was passing through point through the vector e i hope it, this much is clear now p is normal to the plane means that p is normal to any line in the plane theek hai basically if you are thinking like you are sitting on a floor and yahan pe ek 90 degree ka vector hai which is making 90 degree to wo kisi bhi line se wo 90 degree hi banayega तो बेसिकली अगर तुम एक जगह खड़े हो यहाँ पे सपोज यू आर स्टैंडिंग हेयर तुम यहाँ पे भी खड़े होगे तब भी वो नाइन्टी डिग्री का ही एंगल बना रहा है ओके मूविंग फॉरवर्ड नाउ सो पी इज नॉर्मल टू प्लेन मीन्स दैट पी इज नॉर्मल टू एनी लाइन इन द प्लेन दस इफ एक्स इक्वल्स टू एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स थ्री सो थ्री कॉम्पोनेट्स इज एनी अदर पॉइंट इन द प्लेन देन x minus a is orthogonal to p so i'll repeat again initially p is the plane plane in rn r3 and a is a vector through which the plane passes and p is a vector which is orthogonal to the plane p agar wo pure plane p pe orthogonal hai that means वो किसी भी लाइन पे ऑर्थोगनल होगा उस प्लेन की इफ द वेक्टर पी इज ऑर्थोगनल टू प्लेन पी देन दिस वेक्टर पी वेक्टर वुड बी ऑर्थोगनल टू एवरी लाइन ऑन प्लेन ऑन द प्लेन सो एनी लाइन कैन बी गिवन सो इफ वी हैव ए लाइक दिस मार्किंग इन रेड सो x minus a would be any line on it, right? So basically, then x minus a is also orthogonal to p. So if you take any other line, this would be also orthogonal to p. So what we have is p dot x minus a equals to zero. So this was the scalar product that we have already used. Now since there are two comp three components only, so p one, p two, p three dot x one minus a one. x2 टू माइनस ए टू एक्स थ्री माइनस ए थ्री इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो दिस इज द जनरल इक्वेशन ऑफ अ प्लेन इन आर थ्री विच इज पासिंग थ्रू द वेक्टर ए ओके नाउ मूविंग फॉरवर्ड लेट्स डू एन एग्जाम्पल दिस इज फ्रॉम द बुक इट सेल्फ फाइंड द इक्वेशन फॉर द प्लेन इन आर थ्री थ्रू सो अवर वैक्टर इज गिवन टू अस वी नीड टू फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ द प्लेन 
through this vector with p as a normal so normal is equivalent to being orthogonal to the plane so we know this formula p dot x minus a x zero so we have minus one one three dot x one minus a one x two minus a two x three minus a three equals to zero so this becomes minus one one three dot x one minus two x two minus one then x three minus of minus one this can be further simplified as three x one minus two x two minus one x three plus one so this becomes so this is ideally this should be equals to zero so we have minus x one plus two plus x two minus one plus three x three plus three equals to zero so this becomes minus x one plus x two plus three x three equals to two plus five four so plus four equals to zero so this becomes equals to minus four okay so this is the equation of the plane that we are getting which is passing through the vector a and with p as its normal okay so finding the definition for a hyperplane in rn so basically it has n elements okay a hyperplane through so through the vector a that is orthogonal or normal to a vector p which is not equal to 0 is the set of all points x satisfying same thing just we have made sure that we are comparing we have we are doing it for n elements okay okay so this is done and in the next video i'll start with 12.6 matrices since you must have done this in class in class 12th as well so this would be a bit easier topic but i'll tell you some important terms like idempotent and then trace these are all terms related to matrices only and orthogonal so these terms would be new to you and these are very very basic things only okay so i'll be uploading the other videos soon all the best